Hey guys, how you doing? Uncle Steph here. So WordPress and AI. Is AI going to destroy WordPress? Is that it? Is it over? The short answer is no. In fact, AI is opening up a whole new slew of tools for AI professionals to leverage. It's uh, pretty cool stuff. And I think that with AI, WordPress becomes even more compelling as a tool for people who want to put up content rich sites. Hey guys, this video is sponsored by Kinsta. This is a managed WordPress hosting service. They have four major bullet points that uh, will entice you to join. They're actually pretty good. So they have performance optimization. Their sites load really fast, like 200% faster. If you go check out the Kinsta.com, you can see the site just like loads very quickly. Number two, they have very good security. In fact, they have a level of security I haven't seen before. The main bullet point that stands out to me is they got Malware removal. They will remove any malware that might hit your WordPress site. They'll take care of it at no extra cost. Besides that, they got a lot of proactive things like make sure, making sure the plugins you use, et cetera, are safe. That alone, for me, as a longtime WordPress user, is the price of admissions. When you get hit with those malware, it's not good. They also have an intuitive custom dashboard called MyKinsta, which will make managing the site much easier, much better than what you typically see cPanel and other custom dashboards. So that's very cool. And another major bonus, as far as I'm concerned, is they got human-only custom support. They don't use a GPT-based chatbot. They have custom support from uh, actual users. So that's pretty good. So those are the four reasons to use it. And for new users to Keensta, they're offering uh, new customers. They're offering first month of managed WordPress hosting for free on selected plans. So you have plenty of time to check out the servers, make sure everything's cool. To take advantage of this deal, check out kinsta.com, links below, or you can use the QR code right here. Pretty cool, just scan your phone, hit the button, and uh, we'll take you right to where you wanna be. All right, kinsta.com, links below, cheers. So I've been in the web game since 1994, 1995, and at one point I had developed my own uh, vlogging, not vlogging, blogging software, my own WordPress. We broke out Laravel, which is a very powerful PHP full stack framework. And we built uh, a blog that to, took like, you know, a day. You built up some pretty something pretty cool. But I discontinued it after a while because I realized that I was not in the content management system building uh, game. That was not my business. So I didn't want to have to maintain a piece of software. So despite the flaws that WordPress had at the time and some of the e issues with it, with its ecosystem, it still exists today to a certain extent. If you don't know what you're doing, I still went into it. So um, I look at what's going on, on in terms of development. I'm looking at AI and I'm paying more and more attention to AI because I think that it is now the new uh, disruptive technology, not I think, everybody knows that, but in a positive light. I'm not a doomer uh, because I've seen this sort of thing happen before where new technology comes along, displacing the old methodologies of development, displacing the old paradigms, in come the new, and I think there's going to be a lot of uh, opportunities for people who embrace these new technologies and whether you're looking for jobs, contract work and freelance work, it's or build your own business. There's huge opportunity. So WordPress, I think with some of the tools that I'm looking at here, uh, is becoming even more interesting to me. So what are some of the positive things that AI is bringing to the WordPress platform? It's quite a few. So you have something called Jetpack AI, which allows for uh, writing content, generating content on a WordPress blog. Now, how is this beneficial to you? It's a selling tool. So let's say uh, a small business approaches you and they say, we want to put up a site. We want to put up regular content, but you know, I'm a small business owner. I don't have time to write things all the time. What can we do? Well, Jetpack AI comes in there. So you could set up a business, for example, where you set up a WordPress site, you theme it up, and uh, then you say, oh, I could provide a service for you ongoing where uh, we generate content based on, you know, information that they provide to you. They provide you from the business. So I like to use the coffee beans shop. Maybe they, they come up with custom uh, blends, custom roast 
that they want to promote every week or every other week. So you get a few pairs, a few lines from the owner who's very busy doing all kinds of things, and you go into your the uh, WordPress site and you use the uh, Jetpack AI Assistant to um, to generate blog posts based on the information that they provide. Now, as a technology person, as a programmer, as a developer, as a WordPress savant individual, this may seem like nonsense to you in the sense that, well, why would they need me if the AI is doing it? Well, the AI, you still have to work it, right? It's powerful, but you still have to work it. I am now using GPT to help me come up with ideas, but I still have to voice it in my own voice. I still have to edit it. It's far from perfect. It sounds very AI otherwise. So yeah, that's just one example. That's just one example. There's also a whole... Uh, ecosystem of new AI-based plugins that uh, could help with SEO, uh, image generation, all kinds of other things as well. So again, you have to understand as a developer, WordPress or otherwise, most, well, most, 99.9% .9 of business owners, they don't know about any of this stuff. As I said in another video, uh, a business owner doesn't know the difference between a WordPress and a React, or a WordPress and a Shopify, or a WordPress and, uh, I don't know, what are Java. They have no idea. They have no idea what the hell's going on. So you as a professional can provide that uh, level of expertise. So yes, you're not going to be going in there and, and configuring things like you have to now, right? But you be able to go in there and just provide a lot more value to clients much more easily because of AI. So I have just hit or described the tip of the iceberg with regards to the WordPress tool set. As I've uh, talked about in other videos, WordPress is a super viable platform for professionals, right? I uh, know people who make very good money now just deploying and setting up WordPress sites for clients. It is a very viable option for you. And with the AI tools that are being integrated into WordPress, it just allows you to be able to provide brand new services uh, much more quickly and efficiently than you, you, wouldn't have been, you wouldn't have had this option prior to that, like the content generation offer. You know, people ask me, all the time. Steph, if I have a client, I put up their site, how can I generate more income from them uh, after the site goes live? Well, there's one example. I implementing AI tools that allows you to quickly create content for the client so you can have content creation contracts uh, as an example. The main value that a WordPress professional brings, I believe, to the table is your knowledge of the WordPress ecosystem. You, you understand what plugins are good, what plugins are bad, how to install plugins, how to configure WordPress, uh, what, um, what templates, what themes are good. You know, there's all these different types of themes, WooCommerce, and there's unlimited themes. Now, we have a whole new level of... Uh, of uh, tools that WordPress provides, and that's the AI tool set, which makes, again, it makes WordPress far more compelling from the end user point of view, meaning your clients, and uh, because it provides all these tools and capabilities that it didn't have prior, and it allows you to implement these things. So yeah, WordPress development and AI, it's just a big positive in my uh, opinion. Again, we're seeing that window of, of focus uh, shift as I've talked about in other windows, with the uh, invention of AI. So that means what we used to do, you know, three years ago, we, this is the window here, you can see my plan here. Now we're like this, and now we see Uncle Fe Steph's face, post Ruby, no hair face. This is what we're doing now. Uh, used to be here, now we're doing here. Just because we're doing this now instead of that, it doesn't mean uh, there's no work for developers. It just means what we do as developers, as professionals, is shifting. Yes, certain jobs will go away. Hand coding is going to get less and less important. 
and uh, no big deal. Again, I have seen technology come about where uh, it was so productive it replaced old technologies. So you just shift. Anyway, I hope this is useful. Uh, yeah, I'm Uncle Steph. If you like the uh, style of video, like the content of this video, if you have any questions, any disagreements, uh, let me know in the comments below. If you like it, just let me know in the comments. Yeah, I like this type of content. As I said, I've been coding since the 90s. And what I try to do on this channel is to help you to understand uh, not just the technology and how to use it, how to write code, but how, how to understand it from a money-making business point of view, getting a job point of view, start freelancing point of view. This is, you know, this is my wheelhouse. So it's much more uh, rubber meets the road type of discussion here. There you go. All right, we'll talk soon. Thank you.